Welcome to week six of the Sunshine Owl Carol. Last week we worked rounds 48 to 56 of the pattern and your total stitch count is now 182 stitches. This includes one in each corner per side. This week we'll be working rounds 57 to 61 which is a total of five rounds. These are the final rounds of the blanket and whilst it's only five rounds, your blanket is a lot larger now, so it will take you much longer to complete. Next week we complete the border and for the remaining two weeks we will work on our owl centerpiece. It's been such an awesome journey so far and we all hope that you're having a lot of fun. So let's get to it. The next round that we're going to be working on is round 60 uh, so, sorry i beg your pardon round 57 and we're going to start by making our first corner so as we have done in every other round so far on this wonderful cow i am going to start with a standing double crochet in any of the corners please use your preferred joining method and we're going to do two and two chain. This is a straight forward round. As long as your count is correct, it should work out very, very easily. So we're now going to skip two stitches and we're going to do a V stitch. So skip two, one, uh, remember your hidden stitch, one, two. I nearly got it wrong and a v-stitch so it's a double crochet one chain and a another double crochet in the same place skip two double crochet one chain double crochet in the same space we're going to continue until we have 60 of these v-stitches along this side we're then going to do our two double crochets, two chain in the next, two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet in the next corner, and then carry on until we are all the way around here. And I will then see you for round 58. Just a little word of advice. As you can see, I'm ripping. Be careful when you turn the corner that you don't miss that hidden stitch which counts as your first stitch that you're going to miss. I got all the way to the next corner and found that I'd missed it. So that is your first one that you're going to miss. You're going to skip one, two and then we're going to carry on as we've turned the corner. Okay, so I've lost a little bit of time, so let's crack on. Now at the end of round 57, and our stitch count should be 60 of these V-stitches per side, and two double crochets in each of the corners per side. Please take a moment to make sure that your stitch count is correct before we move on. We're going to start in any of our two chain corners from the previous round with two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets. This is pretty standard stuff. We've done this many times in this project. This is a reasonably straightforward round. Nothing in here that we haven't done before. So we've made our corner. We're then going to do a double crochet in the first hidden stitch and a double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then one chain. And then we're going to do a double crochet cluster into the one chain space from the next V stitch of the previous row. So just to go over that for you, yarn over the hook once into that space fetch up a loop yarn over pull through two don't complete the stitch though leave that last stitch on the hook 
We do that three times. Each time leaving the last stitch from the double crochet on the hook. We now have three double crochets are incomplete and we have four stitches on the hook. Yarn over and complete your V stitch by pulling through. We're then going to do two chains and into the next chain space of your V from the previous row, do another cluster. Continue in this manner until you have completed 59 of these um, clusters and I will see you at the next corner. I'm now at the 59th cluster followed by two chains at the end of the first side. To complete this corner bit now we're going to do a 60th cluster into the last V stitch from the previous round. Got a bit of splitting there, let me just go back and do that again. And we don't do two chain after this cluster because we're about to go into our corner. So after this last one, the 60th one, we do one chain and then we're going to do a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. This is what it looks like at this point. We're now going into the corner and in the corner we're going to do our two double crochets, two chain, two double crochet. Now remembering to work into the hidden stitch, do a double crochet, further double crochet into the next stitch. And at this point now we do a one chain and we now continue with our cluster, two chains, all the way until we have completed 59. I'm going to go over this again, showing you exactly what we've done in a second. Okay, so let's just go back and have a look here. That was our 59th cluster there. And we then did two chains and our 60th cluster there. One chain over there and then a double crochet in each of the next two stitches, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets to turn the corner, a double crochet in each of the next two stitches, working in the first hidden stitch, one chain there, and then starting your cluster, two chain repeats. You will do 59 of those, and then work this corner again. I'll see you at the end of this round. You should now have finished round 58 and your stitch count here will be 60 of these clusters per side, 59 of these two chain spaces and two chain one spaces over here on each side and then eight double crochets in each corner. So there's four on this one and four on the opposite corner as well. The next round is going to need you just to concentrate a little bit because um, it can be just a little bit tricky but nothing too challenging. So again we're going to start with our two double crochet, two chain and two double crochet in any of the corner two chain spaces. We're then going to do one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Please remember your sneaky hidden stitch. One, two, three, and four. Now this is where you just need to concentrate a little bit. Into the first two, one chain space, we're going to do two double crochets. Okay, 
and then to each of the next two chain spaces we're going to do three double crochets no chains or anything in between just straight forward so we're going to carry on doing the three double crochets into the next 59 chain two spaces and i will see you at the other the, at the next corner once you've done that we're now coming up to the next corner and i have worked three double crochets into each of the 59 chain two spaces we're now at the chain one space from the previous row so into that we're going to work one two double crochets not three just two and then into the next four stitches one two three four at this point now we're going to carry on in exactly the same manner around the rest of the, this round so working into this corner space two double crochet two chain two double crochet I'll just go around this corner with you and then working into the first hidden stitch with a double crochet and four double crochets in total and then we're back at our chain one space because chain one from the previous round two double crochets and then continue with your 59 um, double crochets into each chain space continue until we're back at the start and you can join and fasten off and sew away your threads i'll see you a bit later you should now have completed round 59 and by now you should have um, joined the work and also sewn away the ends if you're doing it as you go along. Next row is also very straightforward. We're going to do a single crochet, two chains and a single crochet into any of your corner spaces. Then into each of the next eight stitches, we're going to do a single crochet. Please remember your hidden stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you have a look at this, it will take you to the um, stitch just before you started your three trebles into your two chains on the previous row. Right, so here we're going to do a treble crochet. So yarn over the hook twice and we're going to go down into that row there, which would be row 58. And pull up a loop, go through once, go through twice and there we go. You're now going to miss the next stitch. So don't work in that stitch, but work two single crochets in that stitch. Then we're going to do another treble crochet around that little cluster. Important to miss this next stitch and do two single crochets. If we just have a look at this, You'll see that those two single crochets will always be just before the gap between the um, sets of uh, double crochets from the previous round. So if you're not at that point there, then you know you've gone wrong somewhere. There really isn't anything difficult about the count on this row, but what I'd like you to now do is to do this treble cluster around the um, cluster from 
sorry, let me start that again. I'd like you to do the treble crochet around the cluster from row 58, 59 times. And I will pick up with you just before the next corner. Now I've reached the first corner of uh, round 60. And um, just completed the 59th front post treble crochet into row 58. And now we're going to do eight single crochets to get us to the corner. The easiest way to identify which ones I should be is to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in this particular instance here, we're not skipping a stitch there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So just be careful that we're not skipping a stitch over here. We're working st straight into the very next one to get to our eight. Then again, we're going to repeat this again. So single crochet, two chain, single crochet. Just get some yarn here. And then we're going to do eight single crochets. Two, three, four. Seven, eight, and then we're going to start again with our back post treble crochet and then we're going to skip that stitch and two that's not a back post double crochet by the way it's a front post double crochet I apologize for that Got a bit of baby brain. I've had a lot of very uninterrupted sleep recently with the birth of my new granddaughter. And then we're going to continue doing our front post treble crochet, skipping one and two single crochets. As we did in the previous side, we do it 59 times and then one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. Bearing in mind that we do not skip a stitch before we do those eight. And I will see you at the end of round 60 for the final round of week 6. Moving on to round 61. But before we do, please just make sure that your stitch count is correct from round 60. You should have 60 front post treble crochets per side and 136 single crochets including that one in the corner okay round 61 is very straightforward and we're going to start off in any of your two chain corner spaces that one's hiding a bit from me let's get to it with a half double crochet second half double crochet two chains and two half double crochets. One, two. And then we are going to do a half double crochet in every stitch to the next corner. And please remember to work in your hidden stitch. So 196 of these. When you get to the next corner, please repeat your two half double crochets, two chains, two half double crochets, and then your 196 half double crochets. Carry on until you're back at the starting point. Join in your preferred method. Fasten off and sew away your ends in preparation for week seven. Week seven will be five rounds from what I understand. And these rounds will form the border of your beautiful Sunshine Owl blanket. After that, we will then have two weeks of working on the owl before the cowl is completed. I will see you for week seven.